It's just that all the books are on the floor. With this, a very cheerful morning to all of you. I am Anushka Chaudhary, representing Mars House, and present in front of you to speak in the favor of internet. Well, I don't agree with the statement that books are better than the internet because this is the era of internet and technology. I don't know why my opponent is preferring books over the internet. I mean, have a look. Internet is an amazing source of information. Whatever information you are looking for, you just need to search for it and you will get it within a second. And if I talk about books, then sorry but it is so hilarious that first you need to find that particular book, then you have to go through it and you are not even sure that you will get the desired information or not. Internet plays a pivotal role in education. That's why in schools we have our smart classes. Lockdown, the COVID-19 period. Did you guys remember? All the classes were conducted online through internet. If only books would be sufficient, then there was no need to connect with the student on the daily basis. They all were having their books. But mentorship was a necessity. And during that time, without internet, do you think that would have been possible? No. And not only that, but it is also tackling the critical problem of unemployment in our nation by creating new startups. Talking about the books, then just to make you people aware that papers are used in books. And for making one ton of paper, 17 fully grown trees are cut down. 17, looking a very small number. But every year, approximately 25 million tons of paper is generated just in India. So why are you preferring books? And okay, if you are really looking forward to books, then internet have e-books. It has the summary of the books and even the audio books. You name it and it's there. Moreover, internet also saves you time, money and energy. Nowadays, if you will ask someone a question, then the most frequent answer that you will get is search on the internet. Because nobody is having time nowadays. Time is really precious. In addition, books are also very expensive. Even that may have happened with you. That first you mm, develop interest in a particular book which was really expensive. But somehow you purchased it. And you even read half of the book. But then you lose the interest. And now it is lying in some corner of your room. Then that was just a waste of money after all. Now imagine that you are travelling somewhere. Then how many books will you carry with yourself? One, two or four? Well, there is no need to carry the burden of books when you have an absolutely amazing alternative. That is the internet. And here you can get all the content of the book in one place. Now, just be honest and answer this particular question that one day before your exam, don't you people just go through the internet and search for the summary of that particular chapter that you have missed in the class? Isn't it? Well, I don't agree with, the, with you people. Well, uh, uh, I don't know about you people, but this really helps me a lot. So at last, I just want to conclude that in this era of Generation Z, if you will not adapt to the modern technology, then people will crush you and will move forward in the way to success. And I still think that internet is much better than the books. As it is also said by the great scientist Stephen Hawking that we are connected by the internet as the neurons in the giant brain. That's all from my side. Thank you all of you.